In this video we're going to cover rotation for the first six transformation types as it doesn't differ from one to the other. Rotation is view dependent so if you try to rotate you will get this message. Please select a view first. Now I'm going to take this opportunity for mentioning something that I haven't before. Uh, when you choose a view notice that auto grid snap actually changes is XYZ uh, buttons down here accordingly to the view. So on the top view it indicates that I'm using the X and the Z. I'm affecting the X and the Z and on the left view I'm affecting the Y and the Z front the X and the Y and so on. So this is a way you you can check which planes you're affecting. For edge snap scale snap, grid nudge, grid scale, tool nudge and tool scale the rotation settings are always the same and they affect subtools only. Now for Z-Sphere there's a, a little change here as you can see you, a lot of stuff is, is the, has disappeared they only affect Z-Spheres and we'll get to that later and in view nudge you have a bunch of other settings and when we talk about view nudge in the view nudge video we'll talk about them but now let's focus on these six transformation types. Let's start from the bottom here. You have affected subtools and this is pretty straightforward. The selected, the visible, all subtools and you have the undo just like you have in the alignment. And when you have this down here, if I just close the rotation tab, these will affect also positioning and scale, not just rotation. You have a slider here that you can set for the exact type of rotation, but you also have these buttons here. And these buttons, they will set this slider to a certain specific rotation. So you have 15 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and you can see the slider changing. 135, 180. And then you get these special ones. The way this works is, this is all below 15 degrees of rotation. So the first one is half of 15 degrees. So you can see there in the pop-up, it's 7.5 degrees. This one is a quarter of 15 degrees and that's 3.75, then an eighth of 15 degrees and then just one degree and alpha degree. So these buttons are an easy way to just set a degree type instead of being messing about with a slider or trying or having to go to your keypad and writing down a number. Now for these six modes you have three different types of rotation. You have local rotation and now I have selected this subtool and I got selected, uh, pressed. So that's a local rotation of 15 degrees. Let's do a 45 here, 45 degrees, as you can see. And it's, it's view dependent. So if I go to another view, for example, left, it will rotate like that. So simple, easy way to rotate things. Then we have grid rotation in that rotates the object around the grid center. So my grid center is right there. So if I start rotating, you can see that it goes around the grid center. And finally, we have driver. And if you don't have a driver selected, it's just going to rotate around the grid center. So to use this third option, rotate around nudge driver, you first have to set a nudge driver. So if I come here and I'll select this subtool, this small cube, and I set this as my nudge driver. So I get there, cube B is my nudge driver. So now I should be rotating around that guy. So I'll select this guy, for example, and it will rotate around that subtool. And I can use visible or all. Let's just select all subtools and rotate all around that guy. Pretty straightforward how to use rotation. Now when working with rotation, instead of using this undo operation here, it's best to just rotate on the other direction as undo as an expected results using rotation. That about covers rotation. Uh, like I said, the other two types, Z-Sphere and View Nudge Rotation, will be covered in the Z-Sphere and View Nudge videos.